devil is winning. Satan and Nega Shokunda. You heard that the devil is fighting 24 hours. Mazuzo, Pana with Satan and Rubu, Missa, Zuaros. Oh, hallelujah. I never thought that I would be able to stand here today. Now, some was Pungir, which is negative Republican prisoners. Hallelujah. I had a bed to take. Which is no longer a kind of water. Amen. I don't think there's anything which is more painful than a toothache. And if you put the your you know. When I raised that uh, issue with my wife, and I even said, I don't think labor is also all that painful. I don't think labor is also all that painful. I don't think labor is also all that painful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> I can demonstrate to you that uh, a toothache is more, more painful than labor. Do you want me to say that? Do you want me to say that? Do you want me to say that? Hallelujah. You know, you see, when you have a you can make a decision to remove the tooth. But when you have been in labor before, you still want to be in labor.
No, no, because when the devil is now coming back to 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 check the place where there's a sister going up again, no, we, we, we won't be there. Nobody can say that we are also going to go to the right here. Your pastor won't be there. 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 So your situation will be worse than before. So I'm a middle age. You just need to start to warm up for us. We're going to get a bit of time. We forget the principles of God. Because God used principles. So you can understand that when Elijah visited the, the woman at Zerephath, she had to do something first for God to do something. So there is no, if not a man of God can override the principles of God. Don't be fooled. <laughs> when you have been told about all this rubbish. But you cannot override what God says. That's why I say to people, even when I am in UK. That if God has told you something in, in this church. If you go out there and you meet another true man of God, he will tell you the same way. Amen. 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 He will tell you exactly the same message. If it's a true man of God coming from God, he will tell you the true message. He will never say that besides all that, he is going to still go to bless you. He will tell you the same message. He will tell you the he will tell you the original message because it is God who is saying the same thing. But the Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The Bible says he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Oh, hallelujah! So when we decide to do the things of God, when we decide to follow God, it means that we have to do it accordingly. The men of God are not magicians. But they represent God. If they are true men of God. So hallelujah. Yeah. So they also need you to do according to what God wants. They don't say that uh, besides whatever you are doing, I come and bless you only. That's the true men of God. That's the true men of God. You don't believe? I'm a change. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So now, what do we need to do if we say we don't want the spirit again? The spirit of not doing the things of God. The spirit of not following the commandments of God. The spirit of violating the things of God. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I said the other day that, that you know that you the people the the, the, the children and the children of Israelites Israel. do you know that they can disarm a man of God? Do you know that? Those who know say amen. I'll tell you why. Now so Joshua Joshua was kneeling down. And those pray. And the word that came from God. Is good. And say, Joshua, why are you kneeling down? And say, Joshua, why are you kneeling down? And say, Joshua, why are you kneeling down? Your prayer is not going to be heard. Oh, hallelujah. There's something or someone who has mixed his own things with his devoted things. And that time, Joshua was praying for, because he was being defeated. But God would listen to the men of God. 
Whether he listened, but he didn't, he didn't give him what he, what he wanted. So in a way, the children of Israel, they disarmed the men of God. So if you read the Bible from Jeremiah, there's one time when God said to them, Don't pray for them. Jeremiah. Don't pray for them. But if you pray for them, but pray, I'm not going to hear the prayer. So the children of God can disarm their leaders. Can you say amen? Yes. Now let me tell you something. Are you not the one who is disarming the man of God? I will see you. Are you the one who is mixing the holy things and the, uh, and the common things? I will see where Rosha will sing and say, "Zuzu chele ne, sati zuzu zuzu chele." You know, there was one time when God was talking about the holy things. Pane ngoa yewe maripo wa chora ne zuzu chele. He said that do not let these people they should not touch that. Wakati, wakati apana mo na nukana kubata zuzu chele zuzu. Because if you touch, you will be harmed by the power of this holiness. No kuti uga bata unokuwa zvone simba zuzu chele uri pa zuri. Anyone came across that verse? Sure you have. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So, are you not uh, disarming the men of God? You know, the Bible says in Psalms 103, verse 11. So, let me tell you. So, let me tell you. So, let So, let me tell you. So, let me tell you. Why we struggle for things to of God to happen? It's because many people they have been robbed of understanding of God. They've been robbed of the understanding of the things of God. I told you already if God, if the devil is powerful enough to rob your speech, then it's so much easy for him to rob you of your understanding. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now, so what I was saying now is that if there's anyone who truly believes that I believe the devil has robbed me something, and you truly know it. And you really want to go back to God. Because I told you already that there are people, other people who want the devil to, they want, they want their demons. So even if uh, someone who's got authority to rebuke the devil, somehow they call that devil again. I told you already. That when the devil flees, he doesn't feel good. He will go and roam around somewhere. And then come and check. And then see if the place is consistent enough. And when it's consistent, and then you come and invite others. So it's a waste of time to pray for someone who loves this demon. I'm telling, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. That's why most of the time, every conference I come to just being prayed for, prayed for, prayed for, prayed for, prayed for. for. See, if you humble yourself and do the, the, the will of God, the devil flee away from you. Do you believe that? So if you are humble, you humble yourself and do the things of God and, the, uh, and make sure that you, you, you certainly do whatever God wants, the devil will flee away from you. So, so someone can pray. 
People who have got the gift of power, they can pray for you. But two days later, you are inviting your devil again. That's why the church will always have to seek people every day. Every day, Mazosa. You know, it's very easy to heal someone from the street there. <laughs> than to heal a church member. <laughs> but you know, I have to tell you this. Uh, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 13. Matthew 16, there is anyone who does not want to invite his devil again. It's a challenge. Uh, it's a challenge here. Because we know the devil does not sleep every day. But let me tell you, when he is for us, then we shall be at least. As soon as again, we will say, we can marry what we can do with Diana and Gatiruisa. Hallelujah. Amen. So if you think that the devil has robbed you of something, can I choose Zimba? Can I go to the church and I go to the church? Can I go to the church? Can I go to the church? Can there are so many times where he just healed people. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But you can be in the church for 20 years. And, and you are you are interested in healing. But you can be in the church for 20 There are some things which we do which makes God flee away from us. You as an individual. There are so many things which you will do which actually makes the, the presence of God flee away from you. Now, when the presence of God is not with you, then the presence of the devil is there. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So, is there anyone who thinks that the devil truly has robbed me of something just same way he has robbed the boy of his feet. Amen. Amen. So there are so many things we do that actually makes God flee away from us. Because I, I thought, why is it that people, we, we know what gives life? And then we, don't, we just run away from us. Then I realized that no, 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 no. The devil came to steal, to, to rob, destroy, and kill. And then he so much skilled in that. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. So we need to pray together today. But know that he, if you are just doing it because he. You are just in this tent. Know that if the devil flees, the sometime you will come back to check. Amen. Whether the place is conducive enough. And then if it's conducive enough, you come back. That's how it works. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. 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 So we So if the devil is capable of robbing a speech, can a certain archie want to be a woman with our He can as well rob you the understanding of the world. I don't want to be a woman with this. If the devil is able to steal the speech, can a certain archie want to be a woman with our He can as well steal. God from you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. But today I want to pray for, with people who, who really want to come to God to say, God, 
Now, if the devil is who is uh, stolen things from me, can I Satan who are going to be rich, you know, are going to be rich, you know? If he goes, I'm not giving him any chance again to come back to me. Ah, so that we can move on, can I? I can't. So that we can move on, can I? We have to give man to his car. I want to do the manifestation. The guy who goes, he quits because no zeal. We'll see with the deeds. Who see with me? She knows who I am. So if the deed remains the same, Karama Basa, Karamba, Karita, Zwanga, Karita, Kare. We just know that he, you invited the devil back. She knows the opportunity to come today. That's not a chance. And we just know that he has not gone because he didn't want him to go anyway. She knows the opportunity to come back. I don't know what's going to happen. Yes. What's going on? Now, I, I, I asked you a very good question. That why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? And we don't do it. Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Why is it that you know what is right and what needs to be done? Hallelujah. Yeah. We sing a very, 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 very short worship song. Then we pray together. Then you pray yourself. Then you are the one who knows what you are, what you are going to tell your God. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Because if I can tell you that, tell your, ask your God that you don't want this spirit anymore. But if in your heart you need it. But you don't want this spirit anymore. But you will get a more mago shiruda. Doesn't make any sense. Ah, she It truly doesn't make any sense. She took There are so many things we anticipate. We just think that, you know, um, tomorrow I'm going to do this, tomorrow I'm going to do that. But how do you know that tomorrow you are there? Panes, you know, that you know, Timangwana and Chokuti, the Is that it? the devil just give us this false perception? No, what is that? I think I should go to Just give you a false sense of security. I should go to Papa, go check it. It's like a woman. The Bible says that no one knows the time. Why do you not have a man on the one go up? If the owner of the house knew when the thief was coming, I'm going to be my son. He would have not leave the house. I'm going to be a good pamba. So no one knows the day and the time. So live your day as the last day. Now we have to pray for the last day. Now we have to pray for the last day. Now we have to pray for the last day. Because the Bible says, no one says God, God. Not everyone says God, God will inherit the kingdom of God. No one says God, God. Not everyone says God, God. So what do you mean? There's a certain way which God accepts. And 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 there's a certain Oh, hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to pray. Your prayer will be you tell your God, your, your God.